got a fresh rice dish. Beautiful. It's Thai vegan food. Green, one of my favorite vegan restaurants in the world. You see, we get a lot of drone shots today. It was a quiet day, so we've got a little bit of shot action. And this is the garden, organic garden at Happy Green. This is where a lot of the food comes from, the greens especially. Uh, we'll see some little feet soon. But this is a salad that was made like a few minutes beforehand. It was picked. This is a morning glory, really rich in vitamin K and a really tasty. This was a uh, pan fried, no oil. Just a bit of seasoning, a bit of vegan seasoning, a couple of sesame seeds there, a bit of calcium, a calcium rich salad, but really tasty. Just, just ate that. Just, just fucking awesome quality. So fresh, so tasty, and good serve. And they just gave it to me for free. She's in the garden. She said, "Do you want some Morning Glory? Oil free?" I said, "No worries." That's a little feat there. Uh, chef, passionate people, man. This is one of my favorite vegan restaurants in the world. Happy Green. Uh, if it was probably a bit closer, I'd go there every single day. It's a really good vibe. And uh, they've got fans there, bring some mosquito repellent, etc. But really cool. You know, I remember coming here two years ago uh, before we had their first festival. I came here in March and then we uh, we basically got it going, man. We, we got to do like an oil free, low fat vegan menu. They're really accommodating. They'll make food for you. Like they're just really awesome. They speak really good English. Price is incredibly cheap and it's just really good to support them. And it's good to see their growth over the last few years because of the Raw Tool 4 community in Chiang Mai. So I appreciate all your support that you've given to Happy Green. All you Raw Tool 4 cyclist crew, plenty of bike parking, and uh, they love us, man, they love it. So, another thing as well, when you go there, like, eat, just eat what's on your plate, you know, don't, don't waste any food. I know we've had a few buffets there where there's been a lot of people, and people just have plates of food, then they don't eat it. You know, like, let's just not waste food, man. Let's, if you're going to put something on your plate, let's all eat it, eh? Let's fucking, let's chow it down. If you're not too sure what it tastes like, only put a little bit on your plate, just as a test taster, because it's really good food, it's really made with love. And to, in my opinion, to put food back on the plate and hand it back when it's really good food is uh, is not is not uh, is not really kosher. Let's 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 carve up. Let's get it done. Let's eat. And if you're not sure on the dish, don't load your whole plate with it because it does look good. I know. I know it can be tempting, but let's just not waste any food. This is a little uh, a little uh, what is it, what do you call it? a temple across the river from Happy Green. And they put turn the lights on at night time. There's always a market going on somewhere. There's always vegan food somewhere in Thailand. From 7-Eleven fruit juices to rice dishes to corn on the side of the road to fruit to Sprite. There's always something vegan you can snack on and carb the fuck up on in Thailand. So this little aerial shot here just in case you're wondering what that temple looks like on the other side of the road. You're probably sitting there at Happy Green. You're sitting there eating your food. But you're not too sure what it looks like filming this with the drone. If you have any questions about Chiang Mai or anything vegan or anything related, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, this is the aerial shot. This is maybe about 6.20 p.m. in the afternoon. You can see the clouds going down there, the sun setting. That's Doi Tep in the background. That's what we ride up most mornings. And man, so, so many people have lost so much weight in Chiang Mai. I mean, fuck. I mean, so you come to Chiang Mai, you're going to lose a lot of weight, especially if you're riding and eating clean. That's all you have to do, man. Eat clean, ride your bike. And you're going to lose so much weight and get so fit. I mean, you even see uh, Craig, you see uh, Natasha, she's lost a lot of weight uh, from the vegan couple. And there's this, you know, people just looking fitter, even Luca looks a lot fit. I see him out on the bike, he goes up the hill most morning. I see him out, out and about, always moving their bodies. Clean eats. That's the secret, man. If you want to lose fat, cut the oil, man. Cut the oil. And make sure you eat enough carbohydrate so you can do your training, so you get that toned effect. Even Natasha says she had a wrist injury, I'm not sure why, but she had a wrist injury, maybe from a crash or something, but, <clears throat> excuse me, she couldn't do the cycling, she says she's lost a bit of muscle tone. So that's what you want to do, you want to have enough carbs in your body, Sprite or rice, bananas, whatever it takes for you to get out that door and get it done. And if you do have an injury, then that's unfortunate as well. So that's why I always tell people, you know, always pay attention to the road, don't take risks. Um, someone was running down the mountain once and they, they tripped over and had a, hurt their knee, so... You just when you do any training man just just don't push yourself on the downhills or around corners and you always pay attention to the road i mean i've had so many crashes <laughs> learn from my learn from my mistakes but it's definitely chiang mai is a great place for fitness it's sort of like a tropical version of adelaide uh, doesn't have as many fit people as adelaide does but it has 
really good living, quality of living's really, 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 really good here. Quality of living in Chiang Mai, I would say, is I can't think of a better place in the world, you know, because it accommodates for budget travellers as well. So it's really, I mean, they've got clean water stations everywhere and quality fruit and quality vegan cuisine. And you find a restaurant like Happy Green and, and they'll make food to your, to your request. They're really passionate chefs, you know. Another one is Maya Mall downstairs. It's a good restaurant there. Asking for oil-free stuff and Taste from Heaven is also a good one. Let us know down below your favourite restaurants in Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm.